Hey all, welcome back to the channel. My name is Taylor and in today's video, I'm going to be upgrading my roommate's PC with the main goal to cool the PC down. This PC runs very hot and he needs a solution with parts that he acquired over Christmas to cool this PC down. Taking a look at this case, there is a 140 millimeter mounted fan at the top, but only a 120 millimeter fan is there currently, and that is exhausting air out. And then there's a 120 millimeter fan at the back, which is also exhausting air out of the case. And in the front, it is solid. So there is no intake and to make matters worse, there are no fans mounted at the front, but there is room for two 140 millimeter fans. The only intake ventilation is on the back side here, which with no fans in the front, it's not really sucking in any air. So opening up the case, we start to see why heat is starting to become a problem. And looking inside, there is a 3080 Ti. This is a very power hungry, very heat generating card. This thing gets toasty, so that is contributing to the heat problem in this case, as well as the processor is a 5800X with an air cooler here from Cooler Master. It's a good cooler, but it still does get pretty hot, mainly due to that lack of circulation inside the case. So what are we going to do today to start to solve some of these problems? Well, I'm going to be installing a 480 millimeter liquid cooler. This is the H115i. It is two 140 millimeter fans on a radiator. This is an all-in-one water cooling kit, which should help to cool that 5800X down. But speaking of the processor, we're also going to be installing this 5800X 3D because why not? I don't know if it's going to run cooler, but it certainly will run faster. This is a really good gaming CPU. Now this is not all that we're going to do. We're also going to be replacing all the components inside this case and putting them in a brand new case, which is this case, the North. What is this case exactly? Well, if you know, you know. If you don't, let's unbox it. Before I get to unboxing this case, this video is not sponsored and links in the description are not affiliate links. Now it's time to transfer everything from the NZXT case to the Fractal North case. <laughs> Okay, I finally got the components out of the old case, including the IO shield, which is very important. Don't forget this. And it was a bit of a pain getting the eight pin power CPU out of the motherboard. I actually had to remove both fans to get that power out and the motherboard. It's always a pain with these. So hopefully there's gonna be more space in the new case. Also, I forgot to mention, but this does have a one terabyte 970 EVO plus. <laughs> ran into the first little clearance issue with the CPU cooler right here. Let me just show you, take you off the tripod. So I was going to mount this on the top of the case. This is the top of the case, but this shroud is in the way. So I'm going to put it at the front. It seems to fit there. There's a couple fans behind there. I'm going to have to pull those out and put them up here. Okay, yeah, just clip off. I'm gonna use this XTM70 thermal paste from Corsair. This is really 
expensive thermal paste. It's like $20. So I don't know if I necessarily recommend it, but it's what I'm gonna use for this. Okay, I got these two top 140 millimeter fans in there. These were such a tight fit. Like I was basically mashing that eight pin power cable down like it. Eh. That thing is so mashed in there, but I was able to get them to fit. So I have the cables running down there. I just need to wire it all up. Got the pump, the RAM, the power connectors there, the USB audio and the USB powering the whole fan system. So everything is connected minus graphics card, but the essentials are there. Two fans on top and the front is open as well with our two fans from the only one so all those are connected i'm gonna go ahead and power on the system just to make sure that everything is connected and working and then tidy this up and put it together okay let's go ahead and hit the button and hopefully all our fans spin power on. okay these fans are spinning they got lights spinning spinning and look at that beautiful pump it's going Oh, I also need to install a fan back there. I forgot about that. But nice, look at that. We got the RGB from the all-in-one. These aren't RGB, they just spin, but that's fine. Uh, let's see if we get a picture. I don't know what the fans are doing there. Oh, it's like flashing red. What does that mean? Is that bad? Is red bad? Oh, that fan stops. Oh, what is going on? I think it's good. Okay, so what I had done is I noticed that I hadn't plugged that in all the way, that little cable. It was sticking out a bit. So I plugged that fully in and now it doesn't appear to be blinking red. That's good. So I'm gonna get everything paneled and ready to go um, to reveal to my roommate, but I do have one little surprise. Okay, so you'll notice I put that cable in there. So my roommate had a 3080 Ti, which is right here. And he thinks that 3080 Ti is going back in the system, but it's not. I'm replacing it with the 4070 Ti. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Well, actually Windows worked. And um, so this is like your, your uh, specs. You put a new one in? <laughs> Aren't you put the wrong one in? <laughs> There's a 4070 Ti in the computer. That's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to say to the camera before it cuts? No. And with that, we move right into the benchmarks. Here is all the temperatures across the CPU and GPU for two games, the finals and Modern Warfare 3. Next up is frame rates between the 3080 Ti and the 4070 Ti across the finals, Modern Warfare 3 and Destiny 2. And last but not least, we have the total power draw between the CPUs and the GPUs for the finals and Modern Warfare 3. And here is the final build with Windows 11 installed. I'm happy to report that all these changes did solve the heat issues dramatically. This case has a lot more cooling in it and a lot more airflow going through it, which is naturally going to cool off those components. And that 5800X3D did have a surprising amount of performance gain over the 5800X. That's the end of today's video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Leave a like, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.